What's up guys, iPod Tutorial Dudes here and today I'm going to show you how to back up your files on your PC. Now this is something I strongly recommend everyone do because it is extremely, extremely important that you back up your data, especially important stuff. And for most of you it might be easy to upload like all your important school documents or work documents on a sort of a drive or an online cloud based server. Um, however, sometimes for pictures, videos, other sort of larger files that you like to keep around, it is a little more complicated than that, and it's easier to do a local backup. So this is for if you have an external hard drive or if you have a second hard drive. So I have a, um, a three terabyte hard drive in my computer that I like to use to back up my hard drive, my old hard drive, which is a terabyte, which I still use for most things because that hasn't died yet. So I'm going to continue to back it up until it it runs into the ground and my SSD that I'm using right now to run Windows. So there are two different great programs you can use. Uh, the one I'm using is a paid version. It's not very expensive. It's called Backup 2. They spell it kind of weird. I'll have links to both of these in the description. And then the free one that I'll be going through how to set it up is um, is Sync Back, which I'll also have a link to in the description. So first off, we'll start it by using uh, by going over Backup 2. Now, I'm a huge fan of of Backup 2. I think, I mean, there's a reason I bought it. I loved, I did the trial. I loved it. It's extremely fast. It's extremely, it just gets out of your way. It's something that you can boot up right when you go into Windows. So if we open the pre preferences here, I have it launching right when I log into Windows. I'm using the administrative rights. Uh, it starts minimized. So I don't even notice exists. So one, one thing you'll note, the first thing you'll notice when you get this is extremely simple, extremely easy to use. So here I have two backups that I already created. So if we want to create another one, it's file, add new backup. Easy as that. Backup from, so you're going to select the file you'd like, you, the folder you'd like to backup. So let's say I want to backup this important file with all of my programming data in it, for example. And we can choose where we want to back it up to. So in this case, I'll back it up to my backups folder which I have on a separate hard drive. And if you have e, like another hard drive plugged in, feel free to um, select that hard drive, your external hard drive. And then your description will be what you're backing up. So we'll just say that. So, and um, now with this backup program, you get to choose what to back up. So I recommend sticking with everything except for some exceptions. Um, it, it keeps out important stuff. Uh, the, the exceptions it has down here are like your page file, your like Windows System 32 log files. It's like extremely stuff that you don't really need, and it's just kind of annoying. Like cache files for Chrome and Firefox, like that sort of stuff is just not needed to be backed up, and it's something that'll change often. It changes every single time you load a website. So um, there's a reason it excludes those in the backup. So I would strongly recommend keeping it that the setting it is. Um, when to back up i i like to do it every week but um you can certainly do it more often there's no harm in doing it more often especially with backup i mean to be honest i probably should do it more often than i should probably do it every single day because it's just so easy and, and out of the way um so you can choose when you want to do it you can also do real time which is really interesting um whenever you change a file it'll just in the background just transfer that file over to where you have it and this is something uh the when it's in real time, that's more of something if you have another hard drive in your computer. So in my case, that would be useful. But if someone like if one of you had an external hard drive, it wouldn't be as useful that way. So I'll just keep it with the default every six hours for now. Um, and like if you had an external hard drive, you would choose ma whenever manually started. So the next category is uh, detecting changes. Um, just keep it how it is. It uses a destination snapshot, which takes up a little more space because it indexes all the files into one big file. But that way it can detect the changes that you've made over time extremely, extremely quickly and only transfer over the files that changed. So it significantly reduces the amount of time. The first time you back everything up, it'll take a really long time, depending on how big your stuff is. And then the second time after that, it'll go by like a breeze. So copying, definitely use Delta copying. This is the hugest feature of, of backup too. Um, Delta copying is awesome. Definitely use it. It's uh, it uses, They use special algorithms and special shadow copyings and just um, some complicated algorithms to do the most effective way of copying using the least system resources. It's an awesome pro. It's an awesome thing. This is why I like it so much. Um, then deleting. So you can archive backup copies of deleted items. And so I have them. Um, I, I do save 
backup copies, but they get deleted after two weeks. So it saves backup copies in case you delete something. It'll still be in your backup for two weeks, which is pretty handy, I, I have to say. Then the more options, um, this is just going into more options, n nothing really that you need to worry about. So then you would just say create here and it would create one just like one of these you'd have. And let's say I want to do back up this one. So this one's like 145 gigabyte backup already. So if I say go, what it does is if I say go again, it's scanning it. So right now it's scanning all 140 some gigabytes to see if there are any files that have changed. And if there are files that have changed since the last time I backed it up, it'll finish detecting them all real quick. And the coolest part about this is just how fast it is. Um, that's, that's one huge thing I like about this. So it'll just go through and scan all of the files and it, then it'll just quickly transfer over anything that has changed. It'll, you know, match your current source to the destination backup source and just make the changes. So it's extremely easy. And this always will go in the background if you set up your schedule. So th that's another huge plus about this program. Can't say enough about it. So here we go. Just finishing up scanning alt. So now it is updated it and it made 10 changes in like a matter of a second or so. So there you have it. It's extremely fast, extremely efficient. It went through all those files and like in a few seconds. And this hard drive actually has an installation of Windows on it. I think it also has an installation of Linux on it. I, d I don't use that installation of Linux, but I think it has. So those come with all kinds of tiny little files. So it's just extremely efficient. So that is backup two. I highly recommend it. It is paid, but you, you can get a trial, test it out, see if you like it. Um, it's, it's not very expensive. I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that. Highly recommend it. It's not like a recurring cost or anything. It's a um, support the developers. I, I think it's an awesome program. So moving on to the next one. So the next program I'll show you is is SyncBack, and this is the free version, or it's a free program, completely free, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty similar. Uh, I think it's a lot less elegant, and it doesn't have Delta copying, but it's it's not bad. It's it definitely gets your job done pretty efficiently. So what you're going to name is is you'll make your profile name uh, pretty similarly. If you kind of mouse over, it, you can kind of read what these say. It says um, it keeps it basically will keep the files between both of them the same. So if you change something on your external hard drive and plug it into your computer, those changes from your external hard drive will be transferred to your computer. Um, I I like backups because, I mean, I, I just, I want everything to be backed up. But if, if you need that thing, function, it has it on here. Um, I, I don't personally don't find it very useful. So your source, um, you'll most likely be sharing internal external drive. Um, you're not going to use FTP unless you really know what you're doing. So you're going to back it up, say done. Okay. Now it'll bring up another window here where you could choose your source. So here we can choose our folder we want to back up. And then here we can choose our destination. So we'll choose our backup in our backup folder. So then what we'll do is, is you can decide when, so you can edit the schedule. All right. So to get to the schedule, I had to type in my Microsoft account information. Um, so then we can say, let's say weekly, every Monday at 9 a.m., sure, whatever. And then, yep, that looks good. So now we have a schedule going on. So apply that, say okay. Yeah, so then once you get that started, it's going to do your sample run, and it's going to detect everything that's in there and then tell you what you're, what you're getting, basically. All right, so here we are. So it has our simulation. It has the um, the results of it, and it has all of the different files and all the information you want about it. So those are the two backup uh, utilities I would strongly recommend. I think that they're both awesome programs, extremely helpful, highly recommend that you back things up. Um, they, are, they both have their pros and cons, um, especially this one being a lot faster, but they don't encrypt your files, so don't expect them to be giving you top-notch security. There are, are more uh, enterprise-based programs for encryption and all that sort of stuff. This is just for simply, like, mainly home use or backing up your own files, and you can use it on whatever system to whatever else. So extremely two useful programs. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial going through how to back up your files. It's extremely easy to use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments down below. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.